Okay, this is the automated time lapse rig and dolly that I've created. It's uh, made basically out of just the cheapest Igis rail that you can buy, and also the Dynamic Perceptions MX2 uh, controller for time lapse. And basically, I've just added a little belt system, kind of like their system. But I wanted to get into a rig like this a little bit cheaper than uh, what anybody sells it on the market for. And I figured I would put together a little bit of tutorial and uh, a parts list. So if anybody else felt like they wanted to make one of these and save a little bit of money, uh, they could as well. So I'll go ahead and take you through. Um, basically, the Dynamic Perceptions uh, controller has instructions on their site. But you can just toggle through all of, uh, let's see if I can get close enough, these controls here. And uh, basically, to start off, you have off and on. Um, if you want to do time lapse, this right here is stating how often the uh, the shutter is going to trigger. And let's see here we have uh, left and right movement, and then next we have the speed, and it's inches per uh, minute. So uh, really, I've got it as fast as I can go here. And the motor that I'm using is a Dayton gear motor. It is uh, 8.75 RPMs. I'll list out all the parts. Uh, I'll probably end up getting the uh, the 12 RPM motor just so that I can do slides a little bit faster after working with this now. But it's definitely sufficient. And then in, uh, in post, you can definitely speed up your, your dolly movements if there's no live action and you really wouldn't be able to tell. So uh, I'll show a little bit of action here and that's it. Let me know what you think.